Well, the term shovel ready has long been connected with President Obama's so-called 2010 stimulus money package. And the day before Election Day, State Senator Greg Ball and local Putnam County officials and business leaders gathered to announce a push to bring some big jobs into Putnam County that they say are shovel ready. The group gathered at the Brewster train station to push for collaboration in moving forward several Putnam County-based shovel-ready projects in the agricultural, technology, commercial, real energy, and manufacturing sectors. The group says the projects represent over 3,000 permanent and 1,500 construction jobs. They say if the economic development support is approved, these projects could provide a significant increase to job creation and local sales, school, and property tax revenues. You know, the good news in, in this tough economy is that there are a lot of people who actually want to do business in New York. And, you know, what government needs to do is to get out of the way so business can do what they do best. And we have 3,000 jobs there for Putnam County, and hopefully that's the light at the end of the tunnel. And by working together, we can make sure that, that light at the end of the tunnel isn't a train. I think we have a long way to go, but uh, I think that uh, localizing our economy and trying to uh, figure out a way to offset our tax burden, especially in uh, Putnam County uh, uh, is, is key, and it's key to making sure that people stay uh, in New York as opposed to moving out in droves as, you know, it's been happening over the past couple of decades. If we can get the support of the politician assisting us get limited grant monies, the IDA EDC is capable of creating sufficient bond issues to make all the projects real. The group's push is not just for show. It's the very issue of job creation and escalating taxes that has many Putnam residents turning into this year's local elections, like the Putnam County executive race and the Phillipstown supervisors race, between incumbent Democrat Richard Shea and his challenger Lee Erickson. Those we spoke to voiced those same concerns. I think that uh, Republican, Democrat, all politics should be put aside. Everybody needs to focus, work together as one team right now to do something to create job growth in this county. There is a lot of bedroom communities, but there is also just a ton of room for growth here. We need local development. You know, I think we need job creation everywhere in the U.S. You know, I think that our economy has gotten top heavy and very centralized in the financial sector. I think, you know, while well, that's all well and good, we need jobs created in other parts of the economy. We need local production, we need local services, and we need finance that serves that. It's all tied together, I think, and, uh, you know, in the town of Kent, the taxes are particularly high. Uh, I don't know that there's any easy solution to that. I think the economy has to come back. I definitely feel like uh, the taxes are a bit high, and uh, I've, something that turned me a little bit was that I hear there's a difference between Garrison and Cold Spring, and that residents of Cold Spring have to pay school taxes throughout their lives, whereas the garrison, I believe, don't. The economy, jobs, not having enough money. What I think would be great for this area is to invest in the local economy. I mean, we've got so many people coming up here from the city. They love the area. It's a beautiful area. It's the Hudson Valley. And if we could put um, just more money and open up more businesses and have more places for people to come, I think it would be great. Today, on Election Day, those voters will decide who will lead them in tackling these very important issues. And we'll have complete local election night coverage tonight starting at 10 p.m., so be there. We're going to keep it local. Don.